Davis County Classic, and we hope it's a good one. <laughs> we hope. First three games went like this, the 3 o'clock game. It ended up being a good game. North Davies, a four-point winner. I think it was 33-29, very low-scoring game over yep. South Knox. And then the second game, it was Paoli beating Rock Creek Academy. And the game that just ended, which you most likely heard, the Bari Vikings fell to Fort Wayne Blackhawk Christian 50-39. to So right now, as it stands, tomorrow in the 3 o'clock game, let me see, Coach, if I can get all this. It'll be uh, South Knox against Rock Creek Academy. At 4.30, Paoli against North Davies. We will have that one on Razor Radio Sports. At 6 o'clock, Bari will play the loser of this game between Lagodi and Brownstown Central. And at 7.30, the winner of this game will play for Wayne Blackhawk Christian for the Bobcat of Davis County Classic Championship. That'll do it, yep. Well, the Lions uh, face a battle. Uh, certainly, they've got undefeated Brownstown Central. They are 7-0. and Yep. And they come in with uh, one of the terrific sophomores, and that's David Benner, the coach's son. He's had 29 last night. Well, he had 25 against us last year as a freshman, so we know he can put the ball in the basket. you got to know where he's at. you got to get a hand in his face, and uh, you got to keep him from creating so much for other players. They've got some size. This is probably one of the biggest teams I've seen from Brownstown in years. He had some size you know, back in the early years of this tournament, but they really were guard-oriented in the last five, six years. But, man, they've got size 6'6", 5'6", 4", and Benner is at least 6'4", and probably still growing, so... We got our we got our work cut out for us. We're going to really have to play defense and keep them off the boards. Bitter is a sophomore, and as we said, the uh, the Lions have a pretty good uh, junior, of course, yep. in Peyton Bloodsoe. Peyton had yep. 25 last night. Yeah, he did. So his, really average, well. his average is now uh, just a tick under 20 a game, and uh, we need to get him some points tonight. And Luke Nante needs to continue his offensive, uh, I don't know if it was an explosion last night, but he got him <laughs> off on the right foot, right? How about his offensive mind? There we go. Keep it in mind. Offensive minded. Lions come in at 9-2. and two. The last polls, which haven't been updated as far as I know, had Bar Reeve number one, or I'm sorry, North Davies number one, and Lagodi number two. Bar Reeve was number three. That's the 1A poll. But in the 2A poll, Fort Wayne Blackhawk was number three, so they remain unbeaten now. And Brownstown Central in the 3A poll. Yeah, this is a 3A team. They're ranked sixth. Connorsville ranked number one in that 3A poll. So the Lions, as we said, have their work cut out for them. And uh, I know you just saw the one game last night, but what's going to be the uh, the difficulties for this Lions defense tonight against this Brown? Uh, Brown well, Town we're gonna we're gonna have to basically do what Barry couldn't do against Fort Wayne is keep them off the offensive glass. Barry had a hard time uh, keeping the Blackhawks off the offensive end. They had 16 offensive rebounds late in the fourth quarter, after going into the late part of the fourth quarter. But they're big, they're strong. We got to keep them off the boards, limit them to one shot. You got to know where Benner is at all times. Basically, they start guarding him when he crosses the center line because he can hit 35 foot three pointers with ease. Got to keep a hand in his face. You got to make him take tough shots and then get him off the boards as after he shoots it. Don't let him get his own rebound. Lions are the defending uh, champions of this tournament. Yep. Uh, however, of course, last year, Barley was not in it. Fort Wayne Blackhawk was not in it. But Brownstown Central was, and the right. Lions beat them in the final game after beating uh, North Davies in overtime in the semis. So, uh, you know, the Lions have a shot at this. Yep, they sure do. But they have to play extremely well. Very well. Like yeah. they did last night. Like they did last if night. If they played good last night, I'm, I'm pretty confident we can come out on top. What I saw last night from Brownstown Central, five solid guys. Not a lot of a bench, you know. Most of these teams really don't. Now, Bar Reeve, of course, has added some depth uh, recently, but uh, the Lions have a couple or three they can throw in off the bench. But we saw Fort Wayne Blackhawk Christian last night against North Davies. I don't think they went off the bench once. And the only time they went off the bench today was when the game was in hand with only about a minute to go. Exactly, yeah. They, they don't substitute a lot. Uh, they, 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 but they play hard and they play great defense. They had a uh, hand in somebody's face every time Bar Reeve took a shot. And Bar Reeve had to take some very tough shots. Cut it to nine a couple times, just could not get over the hump. And credit to Barry's defense. They did a terrific job on Faust. First. Yeah, at first. First, yeah. first, I'm not sure how many buckets he got, one or two, uh, but it was their leading scorer, Sefton, who did most of the damage. And whoever plays that team tomorrow night will have their hands full. And we certainly hope we have a 4.30 game, a 6 and a 7.30, but that would only mean the Lions defeat this Brown Sound Central ball. Exactly. 
All right, we'll take a couple minute break. We'll come back, get you all set for this one. Final game of the night from North Davies High School, the Lions of Ligoti and the Braves of Brownstown Central on Razor Radio Sports. Adam Stahl, S T H L. Yeah, 6466, 64, 65, 64. 64. He's a sophomore. I don't know how many he get. Stahl had four. He may not he may not start. Brenner with twenty nine, Roskam eight, Neil and Shore with seven, Stahl with four. Heeman. There's a seven players right there. Yeah, we'll uh, we can take it back after this one. And from his career, and this is just adding what I've got. He's got another year. <laughs> yeah, he got another year. But from that uh, Springs Valley game, he had 822. Then he had 10 from Washington and 25 against Paoli. So I've got him at 857 points for his career. 857, gotcha. That, that's what I've got anyway, just, just adding up. I'm sure it's right there in the neighborhood. 100, but, uh, 143 away from 1,000. You know, we, we talk about Peyton shooting from long range. We watched Benner last night, and he would come across that half-court lane. You better get on him. But yeah. it's, not, it's not just all him. I mean, they've got some other yeah. players, but certainly uh, their offense is centered around their big six foot four uh, sophomore. Yep, they've got size. Uh, they've got other guys that can score. You've got to keep an eye on them. And he creates a lot, too. He's a very good uh, ball handler for six foot four, as big as he is. Big crowd tonight. Some of it has wandered off a little bit from yeah. the previous games, but, uh, but not too bad. A lot of Bowie fans still here. To, to watch the Goody play and yeah, see who they play. I want to see what's going on here. It could be a 6 o'clock Ligoti bar reeve matchup. Let's hope not. Yeah, yeah we're, we're aware. Uh, 
between commercials if you're watching us on the North Davis Athletics live stream, Facebook or YouTube. Uh, we may have a little talking. We'll just discuss things, but um, we'll keep it clean. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but that's uh, that's not up to us. It's up to the producer over there to cut us off. But we'll. That's that's why you might hear a little bit on the radio, just so you know. It's not that way. Right. But it's uh, a lot of fun. The people can just stay home and watch these games. But we'd love to have you up here if you're able to at all, because Lagodi needs you, especially tonight. Yeah. We're late for that, I guess. Well. It's you know how it goes around the country right now. You know, both IU's men and women's had their games postponed or probably canceled uh, for this weekend. So uh, or tonight, so uh, the next game will be a conference game against Penn State at IU. You know, we talk about it. If in fact it comes to fruition that Lagodi takes on Bar Reeve tomorrow night at six, right. it'll be another two weeks, and those two teams will match up again at Jack Butcher Arena this uh, year. Yep, yeah. and then there's always that chance, that third chance, you meet each other in the sectional at some point, so get a lot out of each other here. Well, both teams, Bar Reeve and Lagodi lost a ton, but certainly Bar Reeve, they're looking for that kind of third offensive threat. Right. Of course, they've got Hagen Nett who can do anything, and then you've got Graber, who's a very good offensive threat, but outside of that, they're just looking for that third offensive threat right now. Yeah, they've got to get a third score. They, they don't have that number three score yet that's been consistent. To get, you know, to get around double figures. Yeah, but their defense and Hagen Nepp will keep you in a lot of games. Absolutely. They, they just about came back in that game. They cut it to nine. They had the ball and just, could, just couldn't get the ball to fall in. So that's off to Fort Wayne Blackhawk for a, a good hard-fought victory. Well, we talk about Bar Reeve looking for that third score. Fort Wayne Blackhawk has five, averaging 14-plus. Yep, and they want them to play. But, you know, Davidson does a lot of driving. He will not shoot the ball from outside. So as you saw, Graber, he would always sag off of him on uh, uh, first, first in the inside, and made it very tough on first. And Davidson will not shoot the ball from out if he, you know, if he's going to have to be able to drive. He will, but other than that, he's not going to shoot the ball and past I, 15 feet. And I thought Madison did a terrific job bodying up on first. Oh yeah, the first was frustrated most first, most of the game. Yeah, so. Madison, Cam Madison will be a tired kid tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm sure both of these coaches have taken note, but you can take all the notes you want against a team like that, and they're just sometimes just too talented. We'll fight through it. But they yeah. defeated Barry 50-39, to and they will get in that championship game tomorrow night at 7.30. Just about said here to find out who will meet them tomorrow night. Leighton Jeffers looks like he will start again, and we heard Coach Haywood's explanation last night trying to get Luke Nante more on track yeah. offensively, and it worked last night. Yeah, keep him away from trying to ha have to handle the ball the entire time and get him on the number two spot, and it worked out pretty well, first three possessions. He had seven points after the first three possessions. And get um, a little spark off the bench, which they really haven't had much off the bench in recent games, and that's what John Whitworth certainly can give you. Uh, and and Leighton, he, he's going to have to also become, if he's going to play, he's going to have to be at some point some sort of offensive yeah. threat. Yeah, they're going to leave him open. He can't hit the three, but he's going to have to be a consistent shooter because uh, teams are going to scout us and they're going to say, hey, we're going to have to make that little kid shoot the ball. And uh, he's going to have to really come through. Starting lineups, by the way, Greg Johnson, a Ligoti Lion PA announcer, has been contracted up here. He's done all the games so far. Well, we've done most of them. We've done most of them. <laughs> Our second of the nine years tonight. Ligoti is the visiting team, and Luke Nate is senior. We'll start at one guard. Isaac Eagle. Isaac is a junior. There's the number 10, the Lions in their black with gold numbers, gold Lagodi across the front of their number. Parker Arvin, Parker's been playing really good in the post. Yep. He's a junior. Leighton Jeffers making his second varsity start, just a sophomore. And super junior Peyton Bloodsaw put up 25 last night in the win over Paoli. Well, the coach, Dave Bender, is... He's probably, what, is he 6'8", maybe? He's uh, about 6'7", six, 6'6". Six, six. Pretty darn tall. And uh, he will start, looks like, uh, Parker Heyman. His son, Jack Benner. His son, Center. Jack Benner, averaging well over 20 a game so far. And Carson Darlidge. Carson Darlidge, all right. And then, um, who was that last 34, one? 34, Adam Schroer. Adam Schroer, Schroer, yeah. And... Carter Waskin. All right, so check me off here. You got Heyman, Bitter, Darledge, Waskin, and Schroer. Schroer, yep. 
You got him. All right, let's see what the Lions can do. Parker Arvin will jump up in the middle. He'll jump up against Schwarz. Schwarz listed at 6'6". He's a senior. Parker listed at 6'4". For the Lions, he's a junior. So we're ready to go. Parker actually listed at 6'5". Yep. Well, let's just throw the ball up and see what we got tonight. Fort Wayne, or rather, uh, Brownstown Central, always a very solid, fundamental program, much like Lagodi. Yep. That tap goes to Dave, or to uh, Jack Bender. Got Isaac Eagle guarding him. And that's normally the case to start out with. Isaac, a good defensive player. And Bender is crunched up there, but they get it over in the corner to Parker Heyman. Missed a three. And the rebound to Nate. Nate wants to run. The Lions have the numbers for the moment. Nate gets it out to Isaac Eagle. Get in there, Isaac. A three, and it's no good. So the Lions quickly. No opportunity in their first possession. They come down and score a bucket. A missed shot by Heyman, but a putback by Carson Darlick. 2 nothing. Everybody got lost on the defensive switch did, there. Yeah. So the Lions couldn't get the offensive possession three to go down. Again, Peyton's got a, a, a substantial size advantage there on his defender, so I'd like to see him get inside and post up. Luke Dante at the point right now. Bender on him. Bender's got a decided height advantage and almost stole the ball his long arms. That's something Luke has to watch out for. Yep. He's got a long reach. He knocked it out of bounds. 2-0. The Lions have to uh, play pretty well air-free basketball. That won't happen air-free, but they've got to be as air-free as they can. They only had six turnovers last night, so that was good to see. They've got to play a clean game. Down in the low post. Knocked away again. Tough to get it down to Peyton Bledsoe. I don't yeah, know. Looks like every time that uh, Bender is on Peyton's side, he's kind of sagging off. So we're going to have to hit some shots from out. And the Lions will take it out of bounds. Underneath their baskets. To the right, Luke Nante gets it out to Parker Arvin. Out top, Leighton Jeffers. Now they go to Eagle. Hands off to Nante. Nante. Bender's going to make it tough for him to drive. Yeah. Of course, that's Luke's game. Yeah, I think Luke's got the speed to get around him. Kicks out to Eagle. Eagle fake to three. He'll pull in. And now he kick out. Leighton Jeffers didn't take a three. He was wide open. Eagle, he didn't take a three. He'll step in. A little winner in the lane won't go. And the foul is going to be on the line. Well... Isaac indecisive there. He had a couple of open looks, and then when he went in, it was a tough look. That'll be the first foul on the Lions, first foul in the game, first foul on Isaac Eagle. So the offensive possessions for the Lions haven't looked all that crisp so far. Peyton Bloodsaw has not touched the ball once. But well, a double team bitter. Good defense. They open, yeah. They get it across to D Parker Heyman. Heyman back out top. There's three from Carson Darnage. It's no good. Rebound, Bitter got it, and a foul. That's two on Isaac. Isaac Eagle will go to the bench, I'm sure, with two fouls. He didn't block him out. The shot went up, and he just stood. And Bitter, he's more than an outside shooter. Drew Walker will come in for Isaac, so there's, you yeah. know, you talk about defense. Who's going who's gonna to guard him now? Well, he talked to Wall go too. you got to keep him off the offensive board. Then what happened? He got an offensive rebound and a putback. Bender's free throw is good. 5 he's not, nothing. He's not going to miss any free throws. He's too good a shooter. Walker comes in for Isaac Eagle. That's a, you know, it's, it's, it's tough for Isaac because he's always got the other team's best player and offensive player, and he right. gets in foul trouble early. Well, it's not, it's not going to block his shot, that's for sure. He had to basically just let him go on that. Well, the Lions right now looking a little unsure on offense. Peyton Bledsoe, first touch. Gets it out to Walker. Walker and Adelaide and Jeffers. Well, they know that they can sag off a of Walker and Jeffers until they hurt them. Right. Because right now they're not offensive threat. Luke Nante gets it over to Leighton. Leighton takes a three. Missed it. Rebound, Nante. Nante. Got it in a foul. Wow, what a rebound offensive rebound by Luke. Got right. it way up. I think he threw it back up there with his left hand. Yep. So the Lions are cold from outside, but Nante got yep. the offensive rebound basket. Leighton had a good look. It just didn't fall. But what a rebound by... Uh, Luke Nante. Foul on Darledge. Free throw by Luke. No good. Got to have those free throws. Sure do. In a game like this, five and a half left first quarter. Now you got Luke two. on Benner. Yeah, you can't let him get in foul trouble. Let's see what Benner wants to do. They're clearing out for him. Going to try to back him down. He tried, but now he gets it back out. They find Darledge down low. Back uh, to Benner. He, he fakes a three. Yeah, you don't, you three. don't run after him like that. 
Why run after him? He's, he's too good a shooter. So Benner gets three more, and it's eight to two. He's Browns got, down Central. He's got six already. I had five minutes to go in the quarter. Parker open. Yeah, he wants it down there. Walker has it now. Donante. Yeah, I mean, you got you got a couple players right now who are not offensive threats that somebody's going to have to beat. Pat Parker Arvin just holding the ball out there. He hands off to Luke. Luke takes a three. Got it. That's what we got to see. And it's 8-5. Nante starts off like he did last night with all five. Benner jump shot. Good again. Not much you can do about that. Quick off the dribble. Yep. 10-5. Lions just have to match him somehow. And He's that guy eight. right there could do it. Got eight already. Peyton hasn't taken a shot yet. 10-5, 4-17 to go. Quick start for Brownstown Central. Leighton Jeffers. That's an interesting... They're letting anybody shoot from out except for that guy. Peyton Bloodsaw, step back three. Now no he good. forced it. And a rebound into the hand of Adam Shore. And here comes Waskum. Bitter for three more. Yep. Timeout. Ligoni. He's the best shooter on the floor. We can't find him. Bitter is on fire, and so is Brownstown Central, and quite frankly, the Lions can't hit a three-point basket. We'll keep it here at 13-5 to score, and that's been the Lions' bugaboo really all year. Outside of Peyton, nobody's been reliable from the three-point range. Well, Peyton did a step back about 25 feet. Not a, not a really a good percentage shot, but in the transition, nobody picked up Bitter. I mean, he's the one guy you want to run at and not let him sit catch and shoot. The bottom of the problem with that is nobody got there, and he's wide open. Well, he may be the quickest guy in the floor, too. He got down in a hurry. Well, that's just not that's not good defensive transition right there by the Lions. I mean, do you go boxing one, maybe look at something well, like that? Well, you might have to try boxing one and take your chances on everybody else. I mean, he's already got 11 points, doesn't he? I mean, uh, take that. Yeah, he's got 11 right now, and uh, he's the only one that's really an offensive threat. You take him away from the equation, and you're going to give yourself a chance. So the Lions, Walker will get it to Jeffers. May have to get John in there here. He's a three-point threat. Now Bloodsaw driving, but now has to bring it back out. Dante, nice pass to Parker Arvin. Parker got the Good shot. Hands. Wow, probably some contact there, but Parker got the shot. They quickly get it up. Garlic. There's a long three from Benner again. Maybe he forced his hand that time too much. He was well out there. Offensive rebound, though. Another offensive rebound and a foul on the Smallest line. guy on the floor had two offensive rebounds. So that'll be two free throws coming for Carson Wascom. 13-7. That foul is on Walker, his first. Not a real quick team right now out there for the Lions. Wascom's first free throw is good. And it's 14 to 7. Nobody was guarding Waskum on this side. I don't know if they were confused on what the defense we were in, but he was wide open, got his own rebound, and went back up twice. Second free throw by Waskum, also good. 15 7. 326 to go. Fast pace game for Brownstown Central. See if the Lions can match him here. The Lions star. Peyton Bloodsaw had it taken away from him on the Nate pass. Here comes Brownstown Central. There's a three from Heyman, and it's no good. Now the Lions have it out and running. Nate goes up and lays it in. Walker got the long board. And now Brownstown Central, they like to get out the court. It's 15-9. Here's a three that's in and out, no good. That was by Heyman, and Bloodsaw gets the board. Coach Haywood almost beats him up the court, tells him to <laughs> get out there. Now Nate, driving baseline, spin, kicks it out. Three for Drew Walker. Missed it. Man, oh man. Yep. Here comes Parker Heyman. Heyman gets it to Benner. Benner up, tapped away by Bloodsaw. Got a guy's rebound. rebound. And he goes Three through seconds. Three seconds. Foul. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a foul. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't want to harp on Drew's three-point shooting, but I don't think that's where he needs to be because no. his percentage is... He needs to drive the ball to the basket. He had, a nice, he had a nice lane to the basket. I mean, that, that's where Coach has him. I'm not saying against yeah. Drew, but, but I, I'd like to see him get down there and try to bang a little bit down low with the big guys. Benner's free throw is good. Well, I could have told you that before he shot it. Yeah, 12 points for Jack Benner out of the 15. Here comes Woodworth in for Leighton Jeffers. Leighton's going to have to give you more activity than that, yeah. too. I mean, 
Anyway, this is a really good ball club they're going up against. Let's see if they can get back in the game. Benner hit them both. 17. Now you make a run here. He might even start pressing. Benner's out. Benner leaves the ball game. 13 points. Coming in for him is Levi Stahl. 17-9. Peyton's yet to score. He's got the ball now. He's wide open. Three. And he buries it. He was wide open for about 10 seconds. Did a ball fake. Yeah, yeah, he did a ball fake, and they jumped almost into the stands. There's a tough shot that doesn't go offensive. down. An offensive foul on Carter Watson. You're not going to see Benner set very long here. So the Lions trying to make a little hay while Benner's out. Yeah, three-pointer right now. Cuts up the two-point game here. I don't know how Bloodsaw got so open. But he was, and that helps. Well, they've got uh, Carter Waskin face guard in your mouth. But Dante gets to the hoop, kicks it out. Oh, John Whitworth had the three look, didn't take it. Parker Arvin, now to Walker. Now Walker's going to be reluctant to shoot, right? I don't know if he'll be reluctant. Bloodsaw not. gets it to Dante. Well, Bloodsaw's got a couple players on his hip down there, and Parker Arvin almost lost it. Gets it, goes up, and, and got, back. got it. A lot of contact. Lions within three, 17 -14. Good strong move by Parker. Somebody's going to have to match up here. Heyman gets it up to Wascom. Benner will check back in. So the game is down to a three-point game. Lions in a zone here with Benner out of the game. They get it over to Heyman. There's that's off. A shot that's no good. Another no offensive out. rebound. To Carter Wascom. Wascom kicks it out. Now like Wascom gets it back for a three, and it goes down. Offensive rebound gave him another opportunity. 20 to 14. The Lions quickly get it up to Bloodsaw. Bloodsaw with a minute seven to go is fouled. So 20 to 14, that three was a killer right there. The Lions have fought back. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, you got to get out on the shooters and the offensive rebound, the long rebound we didn't get, that is a killer. We talked earlier, we got to keep them off the offensive boards and they've already got two offensive rebounds that resulted in points. Now you've got Bender into the game and Bryce Neal as well for Brownstown Central. It'll be Whitworth taking it out, throws it out to Peyton. Bloodsaw driving in, goes up with his right hand, got it to go. One minute left to go, it's 20 to 16. Uh, You've got to pick him up high here now, Luke. And Luke does, right at yeah. the mid court stripe. That's Bitter. S switch off the screens. Bitter gets the screen, fights through it. Tough shot, that's not going to go. Lions have it. Good defense. Ball was partially deflected by the Lions. Dante gets it up. Dante driving to the hoop. Dante kicks it out. Drew Walker. Walker to Peyton Bloodsaw with 36 seconds to go. Coach says yeah. clock. Good Lions. clock and Lions have possession. They do, so why not keep it until the last possession? It would be fine, 20 to 16 yeah, going down. Absolutely. The way this one's gone early. Luke puts it on his left hip. 21 seconds to go. Now Walker in the middle. Back to Luke with 16. See if the Lions can make something positive happen here. Nante with 10. Somebody needs to set a screen. He does get one. Nante to the basket strong. Kicks it out to Whitworth for three. No good. And Bitter has the rebound. Fires it down. The quarter will end. Well, the Lions can't knock down those open looks. But in the ballgame, after getting down 16-7 to early, the end of one in the Crane Credit Union School Board, it's Brownstown Central 20 and Lagodi 16 on Razor Radio Sports. We just cannot hit an open three. Nope. Oof. Three for seven from three point line. Five for five on the free throw line. All right, Greg Bateman and Coach Wagner back here. We've got a ball game, pretty high scoring ball game, especially relative to what we've seen in this tournament. Right. 
Browns down center likes to get up and down. Ligotti's not shy about that. No, no. To. We just got to hit the open three. The, uh, the pace of the game is in their favor, but if we keep it close like this toward the end of the game, you're going to see one well, of those knockdown drag out south mouth north over the Goody Barry ball games. Levi Stahl checked in for Brownstown Central. Luke Nate gets it right side to John Whitworth. Whitworth up to Walker. Walker handoff to Nate. Nate to the basket. Strong. And he got ball. Get it. And oh. could not get it to go down. But wow. We'll go to the free throw line. Just rolled off the front of the rim. And he's so good at that. That's that's his opposite side too. He goes yeah. to that left side. So strong. He's got a good left hand. Got to hit free throws, though. That's the first on stall. Yeah, he's missed one tonight. Chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. 20-17, to 17, he hits this one. Well, I got a feeling Luke's going to have a terrific second half. He's already started off last night and, and tonight as well. <laughs> we got three lines back. We don't want them to get a fast-break opportunity and beat us <laughs> down the floor. Good coaching. Second free throw by Nante short. is good. Oh, I thought that was a little short to the right. 20-18. to 18. All right, guys, right in it. So Nante picks up Benner. But bringing up the ball is Parker Heyman. I, like. Heyman. I think we're in a box and one. Yep, we're in a box and one right now. Oh. Yeah, basically, we're just man. Where he goes from man to man. Lions are in zone right now. Right, I think they're in zone. Yeah, we're in zone, but wherever he goes, we're man to man. They get it down to yeah, Fox you got Neal. We're, we're going to make somebody else beat us. Parker Heyman. Out of Levi Stahl. They get it over to Benner. Well, let's step back and shoot. You got to, got to get a hand in his face. There it is. That's a tough shot. Missed it. Make him shoot that kind of shot. Yeah. The Lions can tie or take the lead. There is Bledsoe. Walker. Now Bledsoe has it. Bledsoe's open. Another three. Why in the world is he open? We don't care. We'll take it. The Lions lead it 21 to 20. I like this defense. Wherever he's at, you got a man. Right now, John Whitworth has a man. Lions have their first lead. Yeah, he said, cheat over there. John, what are you doing? Man? Three in and out, no good. Rebound into the oh, hand of the basket. Rebound. Bryce Neal got the rebound and put it in. They bounced down Central Braves, have the lead again, 22-21. Again, Greg, there you go. you got to be aggressive. you got to go after that ball and snatch it. So 6-19 left in the half. Whitworth gets it to Luke. There goes Luke toward the basket. And throws it over to Walker. Easy, dude. Walker dribbles out left. Gets it to Nante. Six minutes left, first half, 22, Brownstown Central, 21, Ligotti. Nante, their open three, won't take it. Instead, to the hoop, and couldn't get it to go. Out of bounds to Brownstown Central. Luke a little off balance that time yeah. and just didn't get the roll. Luke <laughs> puffing and puffing right now. He needs a break. I know, I know. He's not going to get one. Can't afford to take him out there. <laughs> He's not going to get one. 22-21, 5.50 5 left. 5.53 left here in the first half. Lions have fought back. They trail by, I think, 9. 16-7 at one point. Stay there, Luke. Nobody's on him. Nobody's on him. They are now. They closed on Bitter. Get it out to Parker Heyman. Yeah, coach is still Luke. Stay here. Now they get it in the middle. Roskam has it. Roskam gets it back in the middle. Oh, that's stolen away off of, oh, it's off of Lagodi's Drew Walker out of bounds. There's a loose ball we didn't grab, too. I mean, you've got to get those 50-50 balls. Game like this, every possession's important. Where's Benner? Benner's over here. Benner's uh, over here on the left. He's going to go. Heyman gets it. Roskam faked a three, shot it at the free throw line. Tough shot, went down. Roskam has six. 24-21, Whitworth. Over to Luke Nate. Lions battled back, took a brief lead. You can't fall back now. 5.09 left here in the first half. Yeah, they'll get some kind of bucket here. Parker Arvin outside the arc to Walker. Walker, a couple dribbles to his life. The right swings it left. Bloodsaw has Parker Waskin hanging all over him, making it difficult to get the ball to him. Whitworth, now Bloodsaw. Bledsoe wants to take it. He'll take it in. Spin move. Tough shot. Got it. Wow. Peyton Bledsoe. Hey. I'll nice tell you what. Away. Benner's great. I'll take Peyton. Yeah. 24-23. That's maybe a trap. Well, where Benner is. Browns down central. Has the basketball leading by a point. There's three from Waskam again. And now all of a sudden it's been the Waskam show. Yep. Under Waskam. 
27-23, the lead back up to four. Wascom now has 10, he has two three-pointers. Peyton with Wascom on it. Deep three, Too deep. that one's short, rebound though, Drew Walker. Walker gets it back to Whitworth, Tenante. Lead is four, midway through the second quarter for Brownstown Central. Now the Lions will be patient. Bloodsaw over to Luke. Dante dribbling, looking for a seam. What a move down low, wow. got it to go. Luke Dante, 27-25, Brownstown Central. Wascom in the middle, gets it back, goes up. Misses, wow. Lions Parker over gets the board. He gets out of there with it to Bloodsaw, and the Lions have numbers. Bloodsaw may take it all the way, spin up. Hard. Couldn't get it to go. And a rebound for Bitter. Yeah, that's a good foul right there. John Whitworth fouled Bitter on the run. That was a tough shot by Peyton. Parker's winded too, and so are all the Lions. They're not used to running at this pace, but they're hanging in there for sure. Yeah, both teams a little bit winded. Jeffers will come back. All right, Lee Whitworth. Let's get in there with a three, buddy. You're going to leave you open. 27 25, 326 to go here in the. Timeout, Ligoti. Timeout, Ligoti, and we will take it on the Crane Credit Union School Board. We'll take 30 seconds. 326 to go, first half. Got a ball game here, 27-25. And it will be Brownstown Central Basketball when we come back on Razor Radio Sports. Just a, just a bucket down. Early in the game, Isaac Eagle picked up two fouls, but I mean, it's just tough for Isaac and anybody trying to guard Benner. And those yeah. were the fouls he picked up against. But Isaac had no business trying to block that shot. Benner at 6'4", had position. You just let him go. All you did was give yourself another foul. You have to sit and give him another point. So Jeffers is in there. Yeah, you got to think ahead. Uh, with Nante, Arvin, Bloodsaw, and uh, Drew Walker. Bitter is in the back. Look for some kind of screen. And the went in the backcourt, and it must have been deflected by the Lions because nobody said anything. Parker, nobody said anything, right? Heyman picked it back up. Stay there, Luke. Stay there, Drew. Waskum another three, and he's on fire. Well, now what do you do? Well, you got to get out on him. Well, <laughs> you got to pick your poison. 30 to 25, three minutes left. They've been hitting threes, particularly Wascom here in the second quarter. Parker Arvin goes up. Foul. Two shots for nice Parker. Move. Got to go against one of their big guys. Yep. I say one of them. He is six foot six, eight and four. Well, now you got Benner guarding Peyton. I'd go to Peyton and try to post him up, maybe get Benner in foul trouble. That'd be, that would be a key to this game big time. Who's got Wascom down here, though? That's well, we're so worried about Benner that Wascom's wide open. Well, that's what it. you're telling him to do. Get yeah. on him. Get on him. Yeah. Now what do you do? Uh oh, Parker. Free throw missed. Got to hit your free throws, gentlemen. And from the coach, that's what you got to start thinking, right? Is okay, this guy can yeah. hurt us too. Little triangle and two. All right, let's do it. How about this? Lucas Britton coming into the game. Parker got the second roll, 30 to 26. So Britton will come in for Walker, maybe a little quickness. Yeah, I think he's going to go boxing one. I think he's, his sole job right now is to guard. That's going to go man. All right, so Lucas has. Britain for the moment, or uh, Benter, right? Yeah, Lucas has five fouls to give here. Yes, he does. And he's physical. And they got Layton on Parker Heyman out front, so they got a couple of sophomores in here. So now you've got Lions Britton knocking it out of bounds. Oh, that was a, that was off him. Well, it looked like it, didn't it? Let's see. No, it wasn't. They said it was Brownstown Central Basketball. It's a four-point game, 240 left. Parker Heyman, Ben uh, is open. open. No, but long rebound comes to Leighton Jeffers. Jeffers quickly gets up to Bloodsaw. Bloodsaw. Don't break it off back there. out. Gets it over to Nante. Ben is old for his last four shots. Nante. Looking for somebody. Gets it to Jeffers. Tip. Yep. Tip. It'll be Ligoti basketball. We deserve that one. Yeah, I think uh, that might have been off Leighton Jeffers. Walker will quickly check in, probably for Britain here. 
on offense? Well, <laughs> think about that. Yep. Who, who's not hitting threes? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not trading much here. Lucas is probably a better defender. Well, he's quicker. Yep, a lot quicker. And you know, you're developing role players. That's here. true. You got to get them all in there and get them some experience. Bloodsaw open deep three though. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? Mm -hmm. Peyton Bloodsaw hits the game. We got a one point game. Pick the the ball. Ball. Yes, he did. Ball. And he ends up in the third row. Have a seat, young man. Oh, that was uh, Benner that went flying through it the seats. Was. Yeah, Lagodi ball. Ready to take the lead here, trailing by one with two minutes and four seconds left. <laughs> well, the line certainly didn't fold after that onrush in the yep, beginning. Down by, eight early. By Benner. Now Leighton Jeffers. Big time minutes for the sophomore here. Any. Do that pass on the inside instead of the outside. Yeah, Peyton went after him. Benner, you can't do that because he's a long well, obviously he's a coach's son, very smart, anticipates yeah. very well. Uh oh. Now long pass into the backcourt to Jeffers. Jeffers will bring it up. Parker Heyman meets him in midcourt. See if the Lions can get the lead here. Minute 50 left here in the first half. Nate goes up. Got bumped. Got and he got basket. it. No foul. Lions lead it 31 30. Quickly they get it up to Heyman. Back to Benner. Benner driving in. Floater in the lane. Good. Just like that. They get points so quick. Well, and we just let them have it. Here are the Lions. Nate goes up. Foul. Two shots. Nate goes to the ground hard. We're going to need a 25-minute halftime for these guys to get a break. 25 minutes for you and I. <laughs> no kidding. 32-31. Britain will come back in. On defense, yeah. And uh, Luke Nate is banged up a little down there. But he's going to shoot two free throws. You know, it might not be a bad time here. We, have we called two timeouts? Free throw is good. What do you see that at? Well, the there? total's up there. It says five for them and three for us. Yeah. That's for the game, right? Yeah, I think. I don't think we called two timeouts. Nate hit the uh, bucket. It's tied. Nate hits the bucket again, and we're leading now, 33-32. Minute 27 left. Luke, Luke was 15 points. Lucas Britton will meet Pinter at midcourt, and he sticks on him like Don't hold him. Don't hold him. Yeah, they're in the... Uh, now the Lions had that one foul to give. I, I think, I think Lucas just tried to want to make sure he didn't get the what ball. What you don't want to do is foul him Not away now. from the basket and give yeah. him a one-on-one. -on -one. Not right yeah. now, no. 121 left. Tie, or Ligotti leads by one, 33-32. Parker Heyman goes out front to Bryce Neal. He'll take a three. He got it. Well, he didn't look that comfortable, but he took it. 35-33, a minute 14 to go. Nante has it for the Lions. But Nate just has that feel that nothing can stop him right now. By the way, who's got blood so now? They had Waskim on him. Yeah, Benner is on got blood on him. Minute left exactly. Possession arrow to Brownstown Central. Two-point lead for Brownstown Central. 35-33. Here comes the trap. Jeffers gets it to blood saw. Blood saw across court to Britain. Would you want to call timeout? Maybe get Walker in there or something? Yeah, you got to be careful here. Parker Irvin in the corner. Finds Nate down low. Fast. Nice. Got it. And we're tied. 37 seconds, Waskin takes a three, takes a three, got the three My again. My goodness, why are we going for the block? 38, 35, 30 seconds left. Leighton Jeffers now will walk it up, and the Lions will try to get the last shot here. Waskin 16, Luke 15. Wow. Timeout, coach. Yeah, timeout. Jeffers got caught there. Yeah, because he threw that one away. 38, 35. 30-second timeout. He's going to bring in uh, Walker. Uh, he's going to bring in Whitford. Yeah, yeah, it's a good move. So 15 seconds left. The Lions have matched them, but, man, they can hit those. Carter Wascom has come alive. He has 16 points. One, two, three, four three-pointers. So Benner scored their first, what, 11 out of 13, yep. and all of a sudden it's Wascom. But the Lions have been right there with them, had the lead a couple of times. Benner 15, Wascom 16. Hard to trade Twos for threes, though. Luke, 17. Peyton has Luke, not 13. Luke, 17 yes. points. Peyton has 13. It might be Luke's high for the year, and we're not even to halftime. Good. 38, 35. Luke, not to, has taken, uh, I'm sure the conversation that Coach Haywood has tried to have with him all year, he's taken it to heart. Yep. He's definitely an offensive force now, but... Lions trailer by three. 
They stick with Jeffers in there, but Whitworth is in there as well. Somebody's got to take it out of bounds. It's going to be Whit... No, they're confused here. There's a 42 on the floor, but I don't have his name. He's just in there for defense yeah. there with 13 seconds to go. Waskin is out. Nante with nine seconds. Driving, going up. Can't get it to go with four seconds to go. Bitter will heave a half. He'll hit it, he'll hit it, he'll hit it, boys. No Woo. good. But the Lions, well, they uh, hung in there, but they had the lead a couple of times, gave it up late at the end of one half of play in a fast-paced basketball game. Brownstown Central 38, Lagodi 35 on Razor Radio Sports. I don't know if they can keep up this pace. No kidding, we can't.
And they're also waiting to see who they will play. It will be the winner of this one. But Brownstown Central, you've got two players right now in offense, and, and really the Lions do too. You know, whatever you – Parker Arvin's mixed in a little bit, but both teams, for the most part, have two offensive weapons. Right. Somebody from both teams, they're going to have to step up. Well, you're going to have to see a – probably a player off the bench here, i.e. it could be Isaac coming back in. It could be uh, maybe uh, John Whitworth coming off here, getting a couple of big threes for Lagodi, but somebody's going to step up besides these two. Uh, not a whole lot of scoring by everybody else. Parker has five. And uh, he said both his field goals, but it's tough to get the ball inside to him. And uh, the pace of the game, though, I think it favors uh, Brownstown because they're used to scoring at a pace like this and probably a better shooting three-point team overall than we are. But we got to hang in there and give ourselves a chance at the end. That's all you can ask. You know, I like this pace of game. I mean, I wouldn't want it every time because the Lions aren't necessarily built for that. But right. when they have to play this way, you got a guy like Luke who can, yeah. who can get it up so quickly. Yeah. And Peyton, they both can get to the rim. He likes that open court. That, uh, you know, we can play with those teams. And yep. we're showing it tonight. It's just a matter of can we hang in there that exactly. second he half. Like, he likes that open court where he can just get down to the rim. Or uh, if they come to get him, he can dish it off to Parker. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting uh, second half here to see who runs out of gas first. One thing I'm concerned a little bit about is uh, Benter got cold late in that uh, Yeah, half. he did. Kind of after he sat down, right? They sat him down for a yeah. breather, and then he came back. And, and he missed four straight threes, and he finally got that little floater in the lane. So thank goodness for them that Wascom is hitting. So now you've got to make a defensive adjustment. Yeah. You, you know you've got to guard Benner. It doesn't matter. Now you've got to guard Wascom yeah. somehow. Yeah. So, so, again, from the coaching perspective, you're in that locker room. What's the adjustment that you have to make? Well, if you're going to go to that zone, you're really going to have to make, make sure that wherever Wascom's at and wherever Benner's at is you shade toward them and play man-to-man on those two and take a chance to everybody else. I mean, that's just all you got to do. You just cannot leave those two open at the rate they're shooting the ball right now. So if you go to a zone, whether it's 2-3 or 3-2, you got to match up with those two when they're on ball side. Brownstown Central coming in at 7-0. and They've beaten 3A Salem. They beat 4A Seymour in overtime, 3A Scottsburg. Remember, Brownstown Central is a 3A school. They're ranked sixth in the state. They beat uh, Madison. They beat North Harrison in two overtimes, so they played two two-overtime games. Wow. They beat Mitchell uh, rather handily. They beat Rock Creek Academy last night rather handily as well. So, again, they're 7-0 and as a, a 3A school. Well, the Lions come in at 9-2, and and uh, after tonight, uh, after tomorrow night, rather, they'll be off until, I think it's next Friday. Next and Friday. Home against Reve. Uh, home against Reve. No, I think it's at Reve, right, for the boys? I think the girls no, are away. Home. Okay. Um, you're right. I think it is at home. Yeah. I think so. But anyway, um, I can look at the schedule here. I can tell you. Maybe if I can find it. But then they play Bar Reeve on January 14th, just a couple of weeks away. Yeah, Lagodi's game against um, Vincent Zerve is at Vincent Zerve, and that's January 7th. The girls will play at home against Vincent Zerve. That's where we got it mixed up a little bit, but there the guys go, will yeah. play at Vincent Zerve. So they'll get a little time. They'll get a little more than a week, and then they'll get another week to play Bar Reef. Now, that being said, they may have less than 24 hours to play Bar Reef because Bar Reef <laughs> will play at 6 o'clock tomorrow, and if the Lions don't come back and win this, they'll play Bar Reef tomorrow night at 6. Well, Isaac Eagle, I, what do you do with Isaac? You uh, got in foul trouble, two quick ones, went out of the game. Do you start him? I'd say put him back in and see if he can get something ignite, ignite us to get going here. All right, we'll take a minute break, come back with that third quarter. 38, Brownstown Central, 35, Lagodi. In the final game of the night to the Bobcat Classic on Razor Radio Sports. I'd love to see Peyton just post him up, see him get him in foul trouble. Uh, yeah. What's, did you get a rebounding rebounding stance? Stars. Okay, and I just wondered uh, how we're hanging with them. I don't keep theirs. I know they got a lot of offensive boards. They've early. got three that resulted in baskets. I know that. Yeah. <clears throat> Lucas probably didn't think he'd get thrown into this game this early. I like it, though. Just, yeah, to, just body up on him. Yep. 
All right, just about ready to go with the third quarter. Final game of the night. Don't forget tomorrow we will have at least two games. It'll be the North Davies game at 4.30 as uh, they take on Paoli. And then 6 o'clock for sure, a Bar Eve game. It's just a matter of whether they play Lagodi or we have a Lagodi game at 7.30 as well. And right now that's exactly what we hope for, a 4.30, 6, and 7.30 game. Got a little work to do yet, though. Isaac Eagle does start, comes out with the other starters at Started the game for the Lions in Jeffers, Bloodsaw, Arvin, and Nante. It'll be Wascom along with Parker Heyman, of course. I'd say, I'd say you're probably going to go straight man-to-man -man here. Yep. Schwar, and uh, that's, they started their five as well that started the ball game. Brownstown Central has the ball. Looks like you're going to get an isolation play here for Benner, so you're going to have to get some weak side help. Three-point game. Brownstown Central has the ball here to start the third quarter. He's Jeffers gonna, is guarding yeah, He's going to duck in and try to get a post up. And they get it to Bitter at the free throw line. Eagle on him. Dalton Jones up and shot. missed the shot. Heyman got his own, or rather, Bitter got See? his own rebound and put it in. You can't do that, fellas. You've got to block him out. He went up for the shot. Isaac just stood there. 40-35. to 35. Eagle with the basketball over to Nante. All right, Lions have to keep pace here. Let's all... Fake the three, shot. and uh, Waskin didn't go for that one, though, as much. So Nante now will dribble it back out. Parker Arvin, high post. Important to get a bucket here. Isaac over to Nante. Yeah, they don't want to stretch that lead back out. It was nine in that first quarter. Lions battle back with a couple of leads. But five-point lead right now for Brownstown Central. They throw it out to Eagle. Eagle driving baseline, and he is out of bounds. travel. So a turnover on the Lions gives it back to Brownstown Central, and now the Lions have to get stops. It'll be Parker Heyman bringing it up. So it was Benner who got off to the hot start in the first half. He's off to a good start here in the second half. There's a three from Parker Heyman. It goes, and the Lions are in a little bit of trouble now. They're down by eight. See if they can battle back. It's... Early third quarter, 43-35. Another eight-point lead. Boy, they hit a lot of three-pointers. Bloodsaw to Nate, lost it, picks it back up. Nate kicks it out. Leighton Jeffers will take a three. Couldn't get it to go. Parker Arvin with a rebound. Parker lost it. Bloodsaw has it. Bloodsaw shot in the lane. Good. Parker Arvin credited him for getting the ball. Somehow to Bloodsaw. 43-37. Nice hustle by Parker. As an offensive foul. That's an easy call right there as Parker Arvin shoot came off. Goes down to the floor hard. It was she came off. Adam Schroer couldn't stop his momentum and fell into Parker. Parker, yeah, he can't get his shoe back on. He may have to go out of the game for a little bit. Three turnovers now. Now they'll, they'll, they'll give him a chance to put it on. It's a big shoe he's got there. That's a lot of foot he's putting into that shoe, and he can't do it. He's going to have to untie it. Velcro, boys. Velcro. No, we don't know do Velcro. <laughs> 43-37. Well, Parker puts his shoe on. Wascom takes it. Well, I better tie my shoe before it comes off. Yeah, he's got Velcro. <laughs> Parker's having a tough time. Well, you got a double, triple knot it, right? Well, three-pointer here gets us right back in the game. Gives everybody a little breather. 43-37. Jeffers has met midcourt, and Nate has it. Gets away from his man. Back to Bloodsaw. Bloodsaw's open, three. They're going to give it to him. He got it again. 43-40. Now get on Wascom. He takes a three. Missed it. Finally Inside missed. rebound to the Lions Eagle. Finally missed. That was a quick three. Now Bloodsaw has it. Bitter on him. He gets around him. Goes up. He's no call. It was tipped. It was tipped. It was tipped. It was tipped. They're going to give it to him. Oh, it was tipped. Yeah, he got it. It was yeah. tipped. It was tipped. basketball. It was tipped. Yep. That's an easy call there. Yeah. Either one, the foul. Or out of bounds to Lagoda. Benner did a great job, though, of keeping his hand straight up. It's 43-40. Lagoda has the basketball. Trails by three. Dante looking for Jeffers. Jeffers over to Isaac Eagle. Eagle to Dante. Lost him on him. 30 on 30. Isaac Eagle driving in. And nowhere to go with it. Gets it out to Luke Dante. Luke's a good outlet if he can't find anybody. Now Dante gets it to Isaac. Isaac driving in the lane. And finds Luke again. Baseline move. Luke up. Missed it. Left it short. Three-point game. Quickly they get it up to Binner. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. Binner right side. Heyman. 
Uh, oh, oh, long three, no good. And the rebound, Bledsoe gets it to Eagle. Eagle will bring it up quickly. Isaac, spin move, up. And he's fouled, two free throws for Isaac. And the Lions can get within a point with two Eagle free throws. That foul is going to go against Adam That's Schroer. Three. That's three on the six foot six center, Aiden Schroer. Eagle looking for his first point. Hard. My oh, goodness. Yeah. Isaac just. I don't know what he's done to his shot. You just, just see it in his eyes. Yeah, it's just, and he's shaking his head now. It's, he's just going to fight through this part of the season almost where he's like really he's, struggling. Yeah, almost like he's falling through it before it ever. Because we need him badly. Takes a deep breath. Isaac's second free throw. Also hard. No good. And Arvin fought for the rebound. And it's out of bounds off of Brownstown Central. So the Lions will get another opportunity left with 5.04 left. Isaac just has to shake that off and keep playing through it. Nante, 5.04 left. The lead was eight a moment ago. The Lions could tie with a three here. Lodso out to Parker Arvin. Arvin out to Jeffers. Jeffers bounced down, low post. Peyton Bloodso couldn't get it to go. Parker Arvin got it. No call again, but the Lions, Nante is there. Nante goes up, sure. that's a tough shot. Parker Arvin's there, and two free throws for Parker. All right, Coach, when I hear you harping that they can't get the, they give up the offensive rebound, I want to hear you cheer a little bit. Well, I've, when the Lions get I'm that offensive exactly rebound. Shots, but I was I happy know. to see all those I rebounds. Know, that's great. But three yeah, offensive yeah. rebounds, timeout yeah. call. These players are winded, you know what? I mean, oh, they this are. is a, but, doggone, you just have to fight through it, and the Lions have done that so far with yeah. the timeout here. So 43 to 40. The Lions have weathered a couple of storms, down by nine in the first, came back, took the lead a couple of times, down by eight early in the third. They can get within one. you got to be happy with that. Right. Well, Give I, yourself a chance. Well, right? yeah, you, you're only one possession away. As long as you stay this way the entire game, you get a couple stops late, you got a chance to put the game in your favor. That's all coach can ask for. You're it playing is. against a really quality ball club here. You're fighting hard. You're right in there. I mean, you're right where you want to be right now. Yeah, and win or lose, coach stresses to us, it is a process. What yeah. you're seeing right now is not the yeah. finished product. Yeah. And uh, it, it is getting better. But I'll tell you what he likes. He likes the fight we had last night. He likes the fight that we've got going in tonight about battling a team that's bigger, stronger, probably, uh, you know, better shooting some three-pointers. But we're doing a great job of staying in there and hanging in there. Yeah. I, I just got to get, get that I can't hit the basket attitude out of his mind right now and hit a couple. Yeah, if, if you look at him, you can tell. And Peyton yeah, he's, mad, a, he's mad at himself is what he is. Yeah, he is. And Peyton gives him a pat on the chest. But you know what? His, his job right now, keep the ball out of uh, Benner's hands and play some defense. 43-40, Parker Arvin shooting two. All right, Parker, now that's one for two, Steph. <laughs> Let's get them both. We missed a couple from the line a moment ago. He hit one, missed one. Parker makes that one. So he trying to pick up Isaac a little bit here because it was this possession when Isaac missed the first two and then a flurry of offensive rebounds for the Lions. Second free throw by Parker. Short. Short. Nope, went down. Nice roll. How about that. He, that big man's touch. Shooter's touch. 43-42, a one-point game. So again, the Lions. 3-2 zone here. Battle back. Match up over here. Match up over here, Layton. Get all washed from there. Well, you go. Well, they did get on him, but they crossed. Oh, 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 but they, they got it back. It. And Bitter has a three. Look, didn't take it. Waskin fakes the three out to Bitter. Binner drives in, back to Wascom. Wascom fakes a three again, drives in, kicks it down. Low, offensive, yes. And it is an offensive foul. Nice and job, Parker. It was. Carson Garland gets a second offensive foul that uh, Parker Alvin has drawn. And you know he likes that. He got up quickly and ran down court. Here comes Whitworth in for Jeffers. And the Lions can regain the lead again. Look at the scoreboard, Coach. That's yep. four, four on. Uh, Carson Garland. Yeah, Garland has four. Didn't. Was, was that three or earlier or four on shore? Four on shore. So a couple players with four fouls. Nance to the basket. Flips out to Whitworth. Get in there, John. Yeah, yeah. That, baby. What a flip. So Nance to Whitworth and the Lions have a two-point lead. 45 to 43. Stay on him, Isaac. Just stay with him, Isaac. Stay with him, Isaac. <laughs> him is Benner, right? Yes. Benner has got it deep. He can give it back. Almost threw it away. Waskin went up high to get it. Down low they go. Blocked ah. away by Bledsoe and Arvin. Oh, foul, ball. yes. No, we got a foul. Oh, they call it a jump. Oh, we got well, a jump ball. It'll be Lagoni basketball, but 
Yeah, Parker battled though, but they called a jump ball. What a block by Peyton. Wasn't it though? Wasn't it though? That guy was open. Now the Lions can take their biggest lead. They're up by two. 342 to go. Possession arrow swings back to down to Parker. Whitworth. Whitworth. Pull up jump shot. No good. The job was feeling it, I guess. They get it down to Benner. Benner kicks it right side. Heyman. Back to Benner, tipped away out of bounds to Brownstown Central. Parker Arvin says, nope, but uh, Parker, you touched it. <laughs> he says he touched it. Well, he, maybe he didn't, but they called it that way. Don't worry about it, guys. Play defense. Yep, just play. Got the lead now, 3.23 left. Probably a quick shot. Don't let Benner get it. When you finally get the lead. Wascom fought through. Ooh. They said Whitworth undercut Wascom on the play. Well, Wascom went up for that. My goodness. First team foul on the Lions yeah. here in the quarter. So they've got big time foul yeah. trouble for a couple of big guys. Yeah, you got to watch Benner stepping in off this pass here, catching it and shooting from where he's at right here. There you go. Yep, Benner three. Good. Lead back to Brownstown Central, 46 45. Why? I don't understand why you're so far away. Coach is telling John that. You got to get on him. Nante. Whitworth. Whitworth driving back to Luke Nante. Nante kicks it out to Eagle. Gives it to Peyton with. Benner on here. I'm not sure Benton has a Benner has a foul, does he? Uh, I don't know if he's got any or 46, not. 46 yeah, 45. What's all? Step back, pop. Unbelievable. He's on fire. Lions have the lead. 47 46. 20 now for Peyton. Stars have come to shine tonight. Wascom scores it and he's fouled on the other end. So the lead going back and forth. Let's see who they get. It's going to be 30. Peyton. Three, Peyton. Looks so. Yep, let's see. Yep, Peyton's got his first. So a three-point opportunity for Wascom, who has also been a star tonight. It's at least 20 if he makes this, right? Or at 19? Least. Let's see, made that one. 19. So Brownstown Central now with a two-point lead. 2.38 to go. Very entertaining ball game. Nante says, let's clear out. Nante goes to the basket. Got it to go again. We're tied. 49 apiece. Quickly up court. Wascom has it. Wascom drives. Throws Wascom it up. It. Oh! Blocking foul called on LeGray. Uh, he did not want to call three in a row, did he? Wascom. Parker was there. Yeah, Parker was there. He was the there. Foul called on Parker. Two free throws for Wascom with a game tied. 218. Wascom is four or three for three from the line right now. In the third quarter. Looking for his 20th. And 21st point. Six foot senior. Free throw by Wascom. No good. Tell you what, he is strong to the basket. Yeah, he is. He's not very big, but a really good shooter outside, and he's like Luke. He can get to the basket. And he's done his share of that tonight. Trying to break this tie with 2.18 to go, third quarter. Got that one. Brownstown Central up by a point. 20 for Wascom, 20 for Peyton. Both teams have relied on their yeah. stars. And 19 for Benner and 19 for Luke. And both teams have two stars. Bloodsaw fighting through. Can't get that one to go. It did everything but go down. Rebound to Schroer, and here comes Benner. Stay there, John. Stay there, John. Heyman gets it across court. Waskin will take an open look. Hit the three. They went cross court opposite side. Well, I'll tell you what you say. Both teams are shooting the lights out right now. He's back to four now with a minute 48 to go here in the third quarter, 53-49. Luke Nante. Nante, does he want to drive again? No, he'll pull it back out with a minute 30 left. In the third quarter, both teams have to be winded. Nice pass to Whitworth. Whitworth had a block. Heyman comes out of there with it. They get it to Waskin. That's a long, deep three. Missed that one, but a weak side rebound to Binder. Binder goes up, makes it. All right, it's a six-point game. The Lions had the lead again, but have given it back up. Yeah, another offensive rebound. Eagle to Whitwood. Whitwood now to Nante. It's time for the Stars to shine on this end now. Nante gets a pick from Arvin. And he'll find a seam to the basket. Got the roll again, Luke Nante. Just enough English to let that thing roll, roll in there. Inside a minute, we are seeing a four players, just unbelievable offense tonight. Two from each ball club. Four-point game, though, with 45 seconds left. Brownstown Central has possession to start the quarter. 
and the ball right now, so you've got to get a stop. Coach Haywood says, let them run down the clock. We're fine for the moment. And let's get a stop. Clock down to 30. Better holding the ball at the scores bench. Walker and Jeffers, a couple of sophomores, ready to check in. All right, 20 seconds to go. You think Benner will give it up? Uh, yeah, they'll run some kind of screen for him right here. Here it comes. 14 seconds to go. And they make no, where Waskin's at. at. No, where Waskin's at. He drives to the basket, kicks it out. Seven seconds left. They get, get it back on, to Get on him, get on him. Benner is blocked back. Benner has to throw up a desperation three, and the Lions get the stop. What a ball game. Let's hope it stays that way. The Lions were in trouble a couple of times, but came back to take the lead at the end of three on the Crane Credit Union school board. Final game of the Bobcat Classic tonight on the second round. 55 for Brownstown Central and 51 for Lagodi on Razor Radio Sports. for 19 for three-point line. game 55 51 let's see if the Lions have enough in the tank well 19 for 36 for Brownstown 19 for 31 for Ligoti bottom line is they've hit 10 out of 19 three-pointers and they have the ball right now the Lions need another stop Pinner has it in the corner Drew Walker is in there along with Leighton Jeffers who Blitzer almost stole the ball Waskin got it kicks it out to Pinner for three got it again my question is why is he open gentlemen 58-51, a seven-point game. Dante, fouled. That is the fifth team foul on Brownstown Central. Boy, they keep stretching that out. They, it seems like three-point barrage. I don't know if they do this every game. Quick timeout here for Coach Pinter. I just, I just don't know why he, he was left open. I don't get it. It's two fouls on Waskin. 32nd timeout, so a seven-point game just starting the fourth quarter. 58-51, the Lions had a couple of leads. They had a two-point lead down here and had the ball and couldn't get that four-point lead. Biggest lead for Brownstown Central has been nine. Right now it's at seven. Winner plays in the championship game on... Thursday night, tomorrow night against Blackhawk Christian, who beat Bar Eve earlier. And the loser will take on Bar Eve at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. So again, we'll have the North Davies game at 4.30 on Razor Radio Sports, the Bar Eve game at 6. And if the Lions pull this out, the championship game at 7.30. If not, well, we'll have, of course, Bar Eve and Lagoda. we get a bucket here. We're digging a hole, Greg. We're down 7 with a lot of time left, but can't afford them to be wide open like that. I mean... If all else fails, try and go in two on those two guards. Nante having trouble getting the ball in. He does to Arvid. Nante wants it back. And he'll drive. He'll go up. He's wow. feeling it. Luke is feeling it. 58-51. 23 for Luke. 23 for Waskin. Waskin's got the ball. Pinner's over there in the corner. The Lions are zoned yep. right now. And they Parker's gotta, got to back up. Peyton's got a shield toward Benner. they got to close a little quicker on Waskin over there. Yeah. Waskin's got it. He'll take a three. Got it again. That's what I don't understand. you got two sophomores over there at Waskin, and they can't close on it. And the lead is eight. 61-53. Nobody else is doing anything. You've got to stay out there. Yeah, I mean, just you shade toward those two players and nobody else. I mean, I don't, when Waskin threw it on the opposite side, Jeffers and Walker went that yeah, side. They, don't need, to, they right? don't need to do that. 61-53. The lead is eight. It now. just boggles the mind. 
Walker has it. Into Parker Arvin. Parker is fouled. Two free throws coming. That may yeah, be the fifth on Schwartz. You can't trade two for three every time. Their last three baskets have been three-pointers. That will be the fourth on Schwartz. Got to hit free throws, though. Parker Arvin did a, a moment ago. 61-53. It has been a three-point fest tonight for Brownstown Central. Otherwise, the Lions would have a comfortable lead. Oh, goodness gracious. They are 12 for 21. Parker's first free throw, no good. That's incredible shooting from three-point line. What are they? 12 for 21. Wow. Shore goes out of the game with those four so Over half of their points have come from three-point line. So an eight-point game right now for Brownstown Central. 6.36 to go in the ballgame. Come on, Parker. Got to have one of these. Arvin's free throw is good. 61-54. Well, you got to get a stop. They haven't been able to get that lately. Going straight, man. The Lions are in the bonus the rest of the way. The Lions have committed only three fouls. Winner. Eagle steals the ball. Eagle goes all the way down. Step move. Had a block. Jeffers has it. Brings it back out. Jeffers now to Parker Arvin. Parker in the lane. Can't get the roll. An oh, empty possession. Empty possession. And a foul on Peyton Bloodsaw on the rebound. My goodness. Whitworth will check in. Well... Yeah, that was a big one. Jeffers will go out. 6.15 left. Man. 61-54. Big, big possession, that one. They get a three here, and the lead is 10. The Lions have battled tonight. Let's see if they can continue that battle. Heyman has it. Heyman to Benner. And Benner stepped back, doesn't take the shot. Good job by Isaac to get on it. Now somebody get on the opposite side, Waskin. That's Nante. They've gone man-to-man -man now with Eagle on Benter and Nante on Waskin. And hope that somebody else doesn't hurt them. Get it to Darledge. Darledge driving to the basket. Bloodsaw cuts him off. Waskin cut off by Luke. Spin move. Luke is there, though. Nowhere to go for Waskin. Almost threw it away, but jumping after it was Heyman. Five and a half to go in the ballgame. Seven point, Brownstown Central lead. Little four corners here. Venture. Probably too early for that. Hand it off to Heyman. Back to Waskin. Now they go low post to Benner. Kicks it across. And Heyman will take an open three. Missed that one. And the rebound is out of bounds to Brownstown Central. With Ligoti, I didn't see anybody hit the ball after the shot left the rim. Another possession we yep. just did get. They get another opportunity here. 61-54. Waskin cut off by Nante. Darledge looking for somebody to give it up to. Eagle did a great job there of denying Benner the basketball. That's a carry. Woohoo. Heyman has it. Five minutes left to the ball game, a seven-point Brownstown Central lead. Yeah, think about fouling here. Now the Lions only have 14 fouls. Waskin takes a three, top of the key, no good this that time. That was a bad shot. And Bloodsaw is there for the rebound. Time for Peyton to take over a little bit. Peyton jump shot. On cue! Nice call, Greg. Thank you. It's pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah. 61-56, five-point Brownstown Central lead. Do the Lions have another push in them? 22 for Peyton. Eagle watching. I was going to say Bitter like a hawk, but that is too easy, right? Eagle watching him like a hawk. Now Bitter tries to go around the two, but great job of the Lions, and they get it, or do they? It's on the floor. No, Brownstown Central comes away with it. They're going to come away with a nothing. Nothing yet. Out of bounds. Brownstown oh, my Central. goodness gracious. Grab the ball, fellas. Coach Haywood's beside himself. Yes. Oh, who's hitting that out of bounds? That's Grab the ball. Out. So four away left. The Lions another. had another opportunity. Well, we're giving him another opportunity to score right here. A three is a dagger. 61-56, almost midway through the fourth quarter. They get it in. Heyman gets it out to Benner. Benner had a steal, and Isaac has the ball. Not say it's on the floor. The Lions come away with it. Give Isaac credit. I'll yeah. tell you defensively, he's been great here lately. Nante, great all night, two more to the hoop. 61-58, Isaac Eagle is into the game now. 25 for Luke Nante. Well, Welcome to the show, Isaac. 
Look at him on Benner. Yeah. You got to stop him now. Benner behind the back. Step back three. That's no good. Good rebound, Peyton. Rebound. No Peyton goes down. He stays down. As the Lions come up, they can tie with a three. Luke says, I'll just wait till my star gets up and comes back down here. Although Luke's been the star tonight. 325 left. Luke goes to the hoop again. No way! Oh. 27 for Luke now. 61! Yeah, timeout. Timeout. Here we go, folks. I'll tell you what. Let's listen to the crowd. I'll tell you what. It's tough. Well, I'm sure we get loud on the video. 27 big points for Luke Nante. 22 for Peyton Bloodsaw. Wow. 61-60. On the other end, you've got 28 for Carter Waskin and 24 for Jake or Jack Benner. What a what a battle by these four out of the game. As odd as it sounds, Coach, here the last few possessions, Isaac Eagle on defense, defense and yes. Luke Dante in offense has kept the Lions in the ballgame. Isaac's defense is kind of right now. It's frustrating. Benner taking bad shots. He took a long three, threw a prepare. Waskin, what was he doing taking a 25-foot three-pointer when they were kind of running some clock there at the top of the key? 314 still left, 61 to 60. Oh, a lot of time. They, we will be in the bonus on the next foul. I'm not sure there's been a team to score 60 in the entire tournament. Up until now. Yes, um, they only won 60-54. Was that the score? Yep. 61-60 here. The Lions trail it by a point. But they battled back in the last minute from being down eight. Tell you what, I guarantee you, Coach Haywood, he may be disappointed with a loss. Right. But he will not be disappointed in the effort if the Lions can't pull this one out. Remember, this is a 3A school that is undefeated in rank sixth. Yep. In 3A. And the Lions have battled them tooth and nail. Let's see if they can battle them for another three minutes. Heyman will bring it up. Whitworth is into the game. Benter with Isaac on him again. Tries to go around Isaac. Isaac will foul him before he gets to the before he gets to the basket. Yeah, Luke couldn't help on that because Luke was on Wascom in the corner. That's only the uh, 15 foul, but that is that's three on. I think they call it on. Yeah, there you go. There's three, three on Isaac. It's a good foul though. Get him before he goes to the bucket. They have a couple players with four. Darvidge is one who comes into the game. Score has four. Unfortunately, Wascom and Benter are not one of those players who is in foul trouble. Heyman will take it inbounds, looking for Benter. Isaac does a great job of denying him again. Isaac staring at Benter's chest. The Lions almost got the steal. Whitworth was in there, but couldn't grab it. 250 left. Yeah, Luke and Isaac are really... Cracking down and face, face guarding those two guards. Benner, pull up. Tough shot. Blow. Got it. Wow. Very tough shot. That was a tough shot. It really was. Well contested by Isaac. 63-60. Well, the Luke show. He gives it up this time to Eagle. He and Bledsoe run into each other. Bledsoe comes away with the basketball. Benter is out there on Peyton Bloodsaw with 2.20 left. Yeah, you got to get a bucket here of some kind. Midcourt, Peyton dribbles, gets a pick, goes up, lane, lets it hard. Rebound comes down to Garlidge, and now Benter has it. Has a big miss. One of the few misses by Peyton Bloodsaw tonight. 63 to 62 minutes left. Brownstown Central just keeps answering the Lions' punches here. Benter again. Driving, another tough shot, just threw it up, and they get the offensive board, kick it out to Heyman, the clock down to 145. Heyman, started by Whitworth. How about a five-second call? How about a yeah, yeah, turnover? Great defense by John Whitworth. Sure was. Sure was. Benter with the rebound. Sure was. Luke Dante asking Coach what to run here. Or else Luke is saying, give me the ball. Give me the ball, get out of the way, fellas. Minute 35 left, the Lions trail by three. This is a crucial offensive possession right here. Luke Nate goes to the basket hard, goes up, tough shot there. Point back, Parker Arvin. Out of ball, Parker. A one-point game, 63-62. That shot was as good as a pass. We'll call it a pass. We'll call it a pass. Now Bender will bring it up slowly, a minute 14. 
Well, if you're going to foul, you want to foul on the big man when they get the ball. Lions really. have a foul to give. Bitter got a foul. He went weak side, left hand, and went yeah. through a couple of Lion players. you gotta, you got to go help no matter what. So that foul to give did not help right there. Benner makes it a three-point game again. Now a chance to yeah. go four with just over a minute to go. Yeah, he's not going to miss free throws. He hits them all. 65-62. Free throw by Benner. Thank you. No good. Parker Argo with the rebound. I tried. I got it. Thank you. One possession game. Got a zone here now. One minute left in this ball game. You need to put Peyton on the other side because you got a 6-4 Benner on his side guarding. Whitworth gets it to Peyton. Oh, he had an open look for a three. Didn't take it. Whitworth will for the tie. Missed it. Bledsoe put back. Good. A one-point game again. 65-64. 42 seconds left. By the way, big man. A tie-up would give the ball to the Lions. Yeah, but foul the big man as soon as he gets rid of it. 34 seconds left. Bitter. One-point game. He's not going to give it up. Almost lost it out there. And now it's going to come pull Isaac Eagle on the foul. Benner dribbled it off his knee, and when Isaac went after it, he fouled it. Well, he's not going to miss two in a row, Greg. He's too good a shooter. Well, he gets one of the bonus here. <laughs> one of the bonus, but it would still be a one-possession game. The clock is at 26.8. 65-64. Block out, gentlemen. Free throw. Got it. 66-64. Down to the wire. This one goes. Well, this has been the best basketball. They're going to stay in zone here. Game of the tournament. Looks like they're going to press 2-2-1. Two, two, Got them both, so it's a three-point game. Timeout. Brownstown Central. We'll keep it here. It's 67-64. 30. All right, so do you want a quick shot? Yeah, you want to get some kind of shot here. It doesn't have to be a three. Get a quick shot. Get a, bu or a quick bucket, not a quick shot. Get a quick bucket. Look to play defense. Get a set your trap up. One time, try to get a, a good trap. If not, foul the big man. You don't foul Benner or Waskin if you can help it. If you can help it. Yeah. <laughs> Make somebody else catch the inbounds pass. But you got to get something here, as you said, the 26.8. Well, there's no doubt who our player of the game is for the goalie. My goodness gracious. Both teams are in the bonus, so if they should foul, we'll be at the line. Duke Nante has had one heck of a ball game. So is Peyton Bloodsaw. Peyton has two. Peyton's come through too, but Isaac, oh, Isaac's had a good three minutes. Isaac's had a good defensive second half. What a great game, though. What a terrific game. The Lions fought back on a number of occasions. Will it be enough? We'll find out here in a moment. 26.8 to go. Nate gets the ball. He's going to take his time. John going to be up. open. John's going to get a three. Peyton's over in that left corner. You don't want to wait too long. You won't be able to get a rebound here. Whitworth gets it to Nate with 12 seconds to go. They threw it away. Luke threw it away. And now they're going to have to foul Benner. What a foul. Now the game's over. Not him. Five seconds to go. He caught the ball. He should have fouled him. Well, I don't know what Luke was doing with that pass, getting it to Whitworth. But that's going to cost him the ball game right there. Yeah, he's going to hit both of these. 5.5 to go. Well, as good as Luke has played, I, I'm surprised he made that pass. Well, they're trying to go cross court back to John. Yeah, I know. And just didn't throw it high enough. But with 26 seconds to go, Coach, Peyton Bloodsaw, it, it, nobody touches the ball for me except Peyton or Luke. Well, yeah, you got to set a play up for him. Even if Luke goes to the basket, he might get fouled. Benner's free throw will ice it here. That's it. And the Lagodi fans are going out in droves now, and they'll play Barreem tomorrow night, it appears. Dang. Well, I'd say they had their chance at it, but that turnover there was a kill. Five and a half seconds to go. 68-64. Brownstown Central. That would be a heck of a championship game, too, between Brownstown Central and Fort Wayne yeah, Blackwell. Will. May have to sit back, relax, and watch that one. Still 5.5 to go, but it's a four-point game for Brownstown Central. I'll tell you what, I can't think of too many times offensively the Lions did not make the right play, but that was, that was a killer. Bad, bad pass, but you know what, though? 
if it wasn't for Luke, wouldn't have been oh, there. Oh, no question about Except that. that. Luke should see that, how stacked that was. That pass was not going to get through there. Well, that's why I said, I mean, there was only 12 seconds whenever he came up half court. We had right. 26 seconds. Why not, as you said, maybe have Luke go all the way to the hoop, get fouled, Kick it out to Peyton, but nobody touches the ball for me except for Luke and Peyton in that last right. possession. Chris Brownstown Central knows that too. So it makes it a little hard. So Benner now will try to make it a five-point game with 5.5 seconds to go. He hits his, he'll have 32 points on the night. He got it. So 69-64, it's a five-point game with five seconds left. That makes it kind of tough. Have we got a five-point play in us? They might, no. as well, they might as well foul. Yeah, they can foul. Bloodsaw has it. Bloodsaw will have to take a half-court free. Missed it. Game over. And it will be the Lions and Bar Reeve in the semifinal game tomorrow night. Well, the question is, Christian. what do we have left in the tank after this game? You mean you and I? Not much. No, the players. players. <laughs> All right. What a ball game that was. The Lions battled back a couple of times but couldn't overcome. The outside shooting, particularly of Waskum and Bender. But you talk about four stars tonight. They really shone brightly. Final score in the Queen Credit Union School Board. Terrific effort by the Ligoti Lions tonight, but they go down to Brownstown Central 69-64. Take a break, come back with our Bill Dobson Ford Tough Player of the Game. We know who that is. And we'll go down the stats, and I'm sure Coach Haywood will yep. come up and talk about this one all after this on Razor Radio Sports.